thank you for tuning into my video i feel like this video should help a lot of people um because i watched several videos and i feel like i had to watch several videos in order to get the experience that i had and i had a really good recovery so i felt like me making this video just throws all the videos that i watch in one video <laughs> I'm very transparent as well like you'll see me you see me 10 minutes after waking up like looking a mess still under anesthesia like well high off the anesthesia like, i was really insecure about my titties you see the side profile without a bra like i show it all i even show the after i answer questions i let you know what i did everything that i bought how i felt i show you my journey two months before my surgery all the way up until three days after but i stopped at three days because that's when i encountered a problem i am going to upload a second video though the second video is basically just going to be my entire recovery and what i did to overcome the problems um i'm transparent in that one as well so watch the whole video and yeah just enjoy my journey because i posted it for a reason <laughs> got my surgery done December 4th. I went to Dr. Ari Corral here in Miami, Florida. Um, I got a breast lift. I was gonna get um, a breast lift slash reduction or whatever with implants, but I couldn't get them because he said that my right breast was a little too um, low. So it was gonna pose the risk of my nipple turning black and, and, and like just dying. Basically the nerves just won't connect back. I didn't want to take the chance so I just got a lift and let me say he did a really good job because they look like implants um, I got an anchor so basically the anchor it goes down and across like that looks like an actual anchor and then they replace your nipple so basically they took off my whole nipple and placed it again at a new location so my nipple is smaller while well, areola is smaller and no, it does not affect your ability to breastfeed. The only thing that affects your ability to breastfeed are implants. A reduction does not. But any surgery, any breast surgery that you get can affect um, your nerves in your breast though. Like I pose the risk of not getting any feeling back in my nipples. My right one already has some feeling though. I'm waiting on my left and it has been about a month almost. I got my surgery December 4th. Today is December 30th. Okay, so let me get started. Everything that I brought was a water bottle. Um, Water bottle comes in handy. You might be like, what am I gonna do with a water bottle? But it's way better than having to open water bottles and then drinking them and then closing them back and everything else. So I just got this, filled it up with water. Um, first day I filled it up with Gatorade though because um, I wanted to replenish electrolytes, you know, stuff like that. So I got a sports drink. You can get power, power a, whatever works best for you. I got a sit up pillow. I'm gonna show you the setup. I'm gonna add it in. Okay, so here's my setup. I'm gonna put the link and everything, but this is just, you know, so I can sit up. You gotta sit up for the first, I think, few days. You have to sleep sitting up. Yeah, I got my computer. I got my little rest thingy, so I don't have to, you know, go and reach everywhere. Because I'm not going to be able to move my hand like that and everything else. But, yeah. It's cute. It's all gray. <laughs> it comes in handy. I'm telling you, it comes in handy. You're probably like, do I really need that? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Do not think pillows are going to do the job because they're not they are not i also got post-op bras um a post-op bra is basically a bra that zippers in the front or that closes in the front and has no underwire no wires nothing at all it's just straight cloth material you have to wear these bras for three months and i suggest that you do wear your bras for three months because at the end of the day, your titties still have to drop, and you don't want them to drop low. And I had just brought some smaller ones because my titties went down. Um, they were swollen, so I brought some smaller ones so they could be tighter and still hold up because I want my titties to still be up there. Even though they still do look like implants, so I don't believe they're going to drop that much. I still want them to be up there. But, yeah. Um, right after I got my surgery, I woke up with my bra on, so, yeah um okay i also got multivitamins i started taking them two months before my surgery and i took two a day 
I know you're supposed to take one, but I took two a day. Vitamin C pills. Um, I thought I took a thousand milligrams a day. So I brought vitamin E pills. I did not take my vitamin E pills before my surgery. No, I took them every other day after, just to help with like um, scarring and stuff. You do not want to take vitamin E pills before though. I also brought iron pills to take a week before my surgery. If you are low on iron though, I would start taking them before you get cleared. Um, I'm going to get into what cleared is. And I also bought compression socks. Compression socks are really good because you're going to be in bed a lot. Um, I had a stool softener. You will need a stool softener. Iron pills make it hard for you to go to, bath go to the bathroom. Um, whatever prescription they're going to give you, they're going to most likely give you Percocets. That also um, makes it hard for you to go to the bathroom. And going under anesthesia, that really makes it hard for you to go to, go to the bathroom. So stool softeners are a must. Um, I also got um, button up clothes or clothes that like zip. I just got a whole bunch of um, like dresses that buttoned up in the front. You're going to look a mess, but yeah. Because you're not going to be able to lift your hands up at all. Like you're barely going to be able to stretch it and so you want to get stuff that um closes up here closes in the front uh arnica arnica is really good to get i started taking it the day before surgery um basically it helps with pain bruising and stuff like that i still have some bruised bruises to this day and it's been two weeks i was taking my arnica but i stopped i'm starting to take them again now um Arnica, it works naturally with your body, so they're not that bad for you. Like, you really can take them. Another thing that you would need is dial antibiotics. So, do not get a scented one. I got gold. Another thing is baby wipes because you cannot shower. You cannot shower. So, my journey. Two months before my surgery, I stopped smoking. I wasn't smoking babes. Um, you know, you know what I was smoking. But, yeah. <laughs> 20 days before I got cleared and what I mean by that is that um, you depending on your doctor you might be able to go there and get cleared or I just went on my own it costed $450 to get cleared so basically they take your EKJ EKG sorry EKG chest x-rays you know stuff like that your doctor is gonna act um it's gonna tell you exactly what they need oh and they take blood work as well bro bro they took like six things of blood out of me i felt so bad that day and then the next day my period wants to come on so that whole week was just a mess but i was grateful that it didn't come on like while i had surgery or anything if you could avoid that really try to avoid that just if you I couldn't even I can't even imagine what that would be like <laughs> but that's because my periods are sometimes bad and then they're just gonna fax over your results and everything they do blood pregnancy tests all that okay so two weeks before my surgery that's when I stopped drinking if you can stop beforehand that'll probably be better for you <laughs> not on the alcoholic stuff but I mean I love drinking <laughs> but okay and one week before that's when I started taking my iron pills because my iron wasn't low um okay so and then one day before my surgery is that's that's when I started um taking the arnica arnica tells you how you um how much you should take let me tell y'all what I brought with me to surgery in my bag I had oh my water bottle Fill with Gatorade, chapstick, bra, socks, pillow, and maybe a prescription depending on your doctor. Um, your doctor might ask you to bring it beforehand. I pull my shirt down so y'all can see like why I really don't like them. But it's my last few hours with my well not even hours, I like hours with my titties. So yeah. Side profile. Other side profile. Oh, let me show you my hair. So I did some braids. Just, you know, I was gonna get my hair done, but I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to wash my hair for a minute. 
So why not get something and have clean hair? When I, whenever I take my braids out, I still have clean hair. You know, not too clean, cause you know, oil all the time, but still clean. If you get what I'm saying. And not gonna have products and everything. But yeah. My surgery was Saturday, December 4th at 9 a.m. I went into surgery around probably like 10.40, 10.30ish. So I remember the anesthesiologist, he, he was like, he came in talking to me and he was like, okay, well, when um, when did you stop drinking and eating last night? Um, Cause you gotta stop eating and drinking 12 hours before your surgery. I was like, exactly at nine. Like, I'm sorry, but exactly at nine. And he was like, okay, what did you eat? I ate Longhorn. Don't be like me. Eat good, eat better, eat light. Don't be like me. And I also had a virgin strawberry mojito. So he, <laughs> don't be like me. Have water as your last drink, okay? And don't be like me. <laughs> and he was like, okay. So when I got in the room and he was like, he, he gave me the, um, they put the mask over me and he was like, oh, you're going to go to real Margarita Land. I was like, and he was like, wait, no, you didn't have to have a margarita, right? And I'm like, no, it was a mojito. He was like, okay, well, you're going to go to real mojito land. And I just started laughing. That's the last thing I remembered. And then I woke up and I woke up and how I felt, I would say, I just felt kind of like tight like i felt it was stuff going on here but it didn't hurt like no pain it did not hurt i promise you it did not hurt it was just discomfort i woke up at 1 30 like 1 30 ish that area bro as soon as i woke up i was like do i have dreams do i have dreams they was like no because some people when they get a breast reduction or breast lift whatever they have to get drains and drains they will they will get two one on each side basically it just collects uh, like all the extra fluids and stuff that have that um just build up and you have to empty them they're like they literally look like a little they look like a little egg you could google it i'm pretty sure they look like a little egg and at the top you can open it and then just like um discard whatever liquids came out and those i heard those are really uncomfortable I don't want to scare you guys but I'm pretty sure you can do it that's another thing anesthesia make you cold and it's cold in there I'm like I'm cold I'm cold they had to give me two extra blankets and then um I was like I gotta pee I was annoying I was like I gotta pee I gotta pee they put the little bed pan under me I peed um I was able to lift up my lower body she put my legs my feet through my pants and then she was like here put the rest on and I pulled them up I was able to pull them up and everything and um yeah and then she helped me put on my jacket she put me in the wheelchair i stood up i stood up and i sat in the wheelchair and then they wheeled me out wheeled me to my mom and then they opened the door for me i was able to step out um get in the car i recorded a video i wasn't out of it i'm telling y'all y'all can do it you can do it <laughs> I was scared out of my mind. I'm telling you, out of my mind. I'm like, what if I could feel it while I'm under the anesthesia? I'm telling you, you're gonna, you're gonna remember going to sleep. No, you're not even gonna remember going to sleep. I'm sorry. You're gonna remember them putting on a mask, and then you're just gonna be, and then you're just gonna wake up with brand new titties. I promise. I promise you. Okay, so yeah. Um, as soon as I get in the car, I'm like. Passing my camera, let me record. The camera was going dead, so I had to record on my phone. Um, my little sister, I said I left it on, but that's why. Um, I don't feel too bad. As soon as I wake, I woke up, I remember asking, um, was I, did I have tubes? Did I have tubes? Um, so, um, but yeah, I'm on my way home. I'm just sitting here praying that the pain medication don't wear off by the time my pain, um, by the time my prescription is filled at um, Publix or Walmart, wherever she go. Car ride wasn't bad. You do feel every bump though. You do feel every bump. Um, that's why I suggest that you can bring a pillow. I would I would suggest that you get a band though. If you get implants, you get a band just to stabilize them. 
but yeah I did not cry the entire time if you know me I am a cry baby but more so I guess for like emotions emotion wise I'm a cry baby because I did not cry not once okay so I'm on day two um yesterday I didn't really feel like making a video um it wasn't too bad though I got home, ate some soup, watched some Netflix, then took a nap. And then after that, I woke up, watched some more Netflix. My friends came to see me. I ate, things like that. And um, I did take a walk. Took a walk to the stop sign and back. I was sort of out of breath. And I was holding my boobs because... I notice like I have to hold them like whenever I get up I have to hold them because they feel I don't know I don't know but I have to hold them I was walking like this this is really how I was walking because it felt like if I like went straight like I was gonna bust open like I felt like I was tugging and pulling my, my um, scars or cuts wounds whatever you want to call them yeah today I just took a pain pill. Oh, and I took my pain medication yesterday. I took probably about two um, the Percocets. And I took one, like, just now. After I ate some chocolate covered strawberries with sprinkles. Terrible breakfast, I know. But it is what it is. I'm not in that much pain, though. I feel pretty good. Um, Like I said, it just mainly hurts when I get up. Like, I be having to hold them. And, like, when I try to move back and stuff, it hurts. But it's not an unbearable pain, though. So, yeah. My post-op is tomorrow at 7 a.m. I was bloated. It went down a little. Um, but, yeah, that was um, going to happen. I watched several videos, and people said that they were bloated. But my feeling, a lot of people said that they feel like they got punched in the chest or whatever. My feeling is like tightness mainly here and here. Like I could tell that like where the incisions are. It feels like really tight. And like in the middle too. Oh my gosh. It feels like I'm pulling it open. I don't know. Not that bad though. I don't feel that bad, but I just feel like it's being pulled. Oh yeah, and I can't take a shower, so I'm just smelling here see stink. Movement was limited. I did feel better from yesterday from Saturday though. My movement was limited. You don't wanna stretch, you don't wanna like you see this? Ain't no none of that. You gonna like that. That's about it. That's all you gotta do. And that's if you move your whole body over to do that. Ain't no none of this. Ain't none of that. None of that. And don't even try because you don't wanna you don't wanna um mess up your um implants if you get implants or you just don't wanna mess up like anything. Just don't try. Your body isn't isn't gonna let you though, but don't try to force it. I'm out into my post stop I did an outfit change, y'all. I got home at like 8.30 probably. It's like 1, 1 1.30, 1.40. I was asleep as soon as I got home though. What they did at the pre-op was basically they, um, I had like a gauze over like my nipple area and tape holding it. They only took the gauze off and the tape that was holding it. Um, so now I can like sort of see like just a little bit of my nipple. She also told me to change my bra every day. And, you know, just continue to sleep upright and sit upright, which I'm I'm doing. And I get the tape taken off next week, Monday. So, I'm, I could still, you know, shower my lower body, though. But I can't get none of this up here wet. So, I'm going to have to just use baby wipes under my arms. I don't have no, like, real, real pain, though. It's just, like, discomfort. And that's how I've been ever since I got back. I haven't been in no real pain. The only time that I could say I've been in real pain, oh my God, I dropped my phone on my breast. Bro. Bro. It hurt it so bad. So bad. You think dropping your phone on your face hurt? I freaking screamed. My dog had looked at me like I was crazy. Okay, so I ended on my day three and post-op. But second video, I'm going to show you everything else i ended it there because day four i didn't really do nothing um 
but day five that's when i went to get my tapes taken off because of the problem that i encountered which i'll let you guys know in the next video so stay tuned um, let me show you guys how they look now this is how they look and this is without like nothing nothing holding it up this is how they look I don't know what cup size I went to. I was a 34 double D. I can't wear regular bras yet. Um, yeah, so for three months, you can't have no underwires. You don't want nothing trying to break you open. Like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys like this video. Um, yeah. Let me know any questions in the comments or on my Instagram that you want me to answer in my next video.